Try and remember what it was like in elementary school. I remember one thing in particular, lots of colorful markers. I used them to draw, mark off things that were important in my little notebook, or mark other people's arms just for the fun of it. Marking off something in a notebook or on a wall like graffiti often does identifies important points, locations, and memories. While marking like fun and games, it actually plays a very important role with regard to cancer. Tumor markers are substances found in body tissues and fluids that help to show the presence and type of cancer. Usually, these tumor markers are found in bodily fluids such as blood or urine, but they do not have to be. The reason these tumor markers, often proteins, can be found is because they are either produced by cancer cells themselves or produced by the body in response to the cancer's presence in abnormally large quantities. Therefore, when a sample of bodily fluid is taken and sent off to the lab for analysis, the presence of tumor markers may indicate a potentially malignant process and even a specific type of malignant tumor. You can think of these tumor markers as forensic evidence of a crime seen by a criminal, be it DNA that links police to the exact criminal or footprints that show the potential that a criminal was there. These markers are indicators of some kind of, quote, criminal act, shall we say, occurring within your body. Since there's a ton of these different markers, I'll just focus on three big ones for this lesson as to not overwhelm you with too much information. One of them is known as PSA, or prostate-specific antigen. As you can tell by its full name, this tumor marker helps your doctor detect the presence of prostate cancer, if you are a man, that is. PSA is made by cells of the prostate gland and is present in abnormally large amounts in men with prostate cancer. But medicine is never that simple and therefore its elevation can be caused by non-malignant processes such as BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. Therefore, to be sure about the diagnosis of cancer, it's sometimes advised that men with high levels of PSA have a biopsy taken in order to confirm the diagnosis of cancer or even rule it out. Another well-known tumor marker is known as AF P or alpha fetal protein. This tumor marker can be used to help diagnose hepatocellular carcinoma or liver cancer. However, once again, high levels of AFP can be found in people with non-malignant causes of liver problems, such as hepatitis. Therefore, doctors can better appreciate the possibility of cancer by looking at the extent of the increase of AFP if it's severely elevated as opposed to mildly elevated it may be more indicative of cancer than a benign inflammation of the liver or hepatitis in medicine as you can tell many things are very relative to not only each individual person but also each individual organ given a whole host of factors Finally, another tumor marker that I'd like to discuss is known as CEA, or carcinoembryonic antigen. The reason I chose to discuss this marker with you is to show you the varied applicability of tumor markers as a whole. CEA isn't used as much to screen for or diagnose cancers as AFP and PSA may be for their respective cancers. Instead, it's used mainly to tell a medical practitioner what the prognosis for a patient with colorectal or breast cancer may be or how well they are responding to treatment or to see if the cancer has spread. Therefore, tumor markers aren't just limited to one role in medicine and can have a whole host of applications. These tumor markers are substances found in body tissues and fluids that help to show the presence and type of cancer. We discussed three of these markers in our lesson, including PSA, or prostate-specific antigen, CEA, or carcinoembryonic antigen, and AFP, or alpha-fetal protein, which can be used to help diagnose hepatocellular carcinoma, or liver cancer.